Welcome again to Doodling Through Education. Thank you for joining me um, for another episode. And today in this episode, we are going to talk some more about space. So that has been the theme for the last few science episodes. And we're going to go along with that theme. And in specific, we are going to talk about, we're going to talk about meteors, we're going to talk about asteroids, meteoroids, meteorites, what's the difference between all of them, what are they, and we are going to dive deeper into understanding on those topics. So um, come along with me and let's start doodling. Let's start by discussing asteroids. Asteroids are small, rocky objects that orbit the sun like planets do. Most are made up of different types of rocks, but can also have clays and different metals in them as well. Even though they also orbit the sun, they are much, much smaller than planets. They are also not round like planets are, but instead they have jagged and irregular shapes. The majority of asteroids are found between Mars and Jupiter in what is called the main asteroid belt. The largest asteroid in our solar system is an asteroid by the name of Vesta, which is about 329 miles in diameter. Most asteroids range in size from Vesta all the way down to smaller sizes around 33 feet across. One interesting fact is that if you combined all the asteroids in the main asteroid belt, its total mass would be less than that of the Earth's moon. Some asteroids can come close to Earth in its orbit around the sun, and these are called NEOs, or Near Earth Objects and NASA's scientists are sure to keep a close eye on them. There have been several NASA missions that have flown by and observed asteroids, and in 2016, NASA launched the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to study an asteroid near Earth called Bennu. This spacecraft studied this asteroid for years and then scooped up a sample of the dirt and rocks and started to head back home to Earth. This container is set to land in the Utah desert in September of 2023, and this will greatly help scientists in studying further about asteroids. Now the next body that we are going to talk about are meteoroids. So what is a meteoroid and how is it different from an asteroid? Well, a meteoroid is simply a small piece of an asteroid or comet, which we will talk about later, and it is typically pebble-sized. Meteoroids are often caused by some sort of collision of an asteroid or they are, they compose the tails of comets. When a meteoroid gets close to Earth and enters its atmosphere, its name changes to a meteor. This meteor typically enters Earth's atmosphere at a very high speed and burns up in the process, creating a streak of light that we refer to as a shooting star. So in reality, if you've ever seen a shooting star in the night sky, you have most likely actually witnessed a meteor passing into and then burning up in our atmosphere. Sometimes the number of shooting stars you can see per night increases greatly, and this is called a meteor shower. 
These occur every year regularly when the earth passes through the trail of dusty debris left by a comet. An example of this is the Perseids meteor shower, which peaks in August of every year. These shooting stars that are seen during this time are actually tiny pieces of the Swift-Tuttle comet. So we've talked about asteroids, meteoroids, and meteors. So what is a meteorite? Well, a meteorite is a meteor that has not completely burned up in Earth's atmosphere and has made it all the way down to Earth. Typically, meteors smaller than a football field will break apart in Earth's atmosphere, but occasionally about 5% of the original object can make it to the ground. Distinguishing these meteorites from an earth rock is hard to do, but one place that this becomes easier is in a desert. This is where dark meteorites can stick out amongst the sand. This is also the case in icy deserts like Antarctica. So what do they look like? They often look similar to earth rocks, but usually have a burned exterior that can look shiny and is called a fusion crust. The last body that we will look at is a comet. Comets also orbit the sun like asteroids, but unlike asteroids, which are rocky, comets are composed of ice and dust. So when a comet approaches the sun, this ice and dust start to vaporize, which create a type of tail that follows it and can be seen through a telescope. This cloud that is formed from the ice and dust vaporizing is called a coma. The coma is then lit by the sun, so this beautiful bright tail is visible. One interesting fact is the current number of known comets in our solar system is 3,743, which is actually quite small in comparison to the current number of asteroids known, which is 1,113,527. Isn't our God amazing? He was able to create all of this in our solar system and he was able to create us. Thanks again for tuning in and I look forward to continuing to learn more about space this week and I hope you do too. I'm going to put the link to NASA's website again in the description like I did um, for the past two weeks because they just have a lot and some really good information that I think will be valuable to you and your families on the topics that we've been talking about. So I'll go ahead and put that in the description again for their pages on um, this topic on meteors, meteorites, meteoroids, and asteroids and comets. Um, And on that note, be kind, follow God's will, and Take care.